This is one of multiple Genus 3 Lab videos. This topology is a continuation of previous topologies. Please have a look at my previous videos linked below or the previous topologies that this builds on. Now if we do a debug PPP negotiation and shut the interface again and then no shut it, we should see the negotiation of PPP multilink. So there we go. We can see authentication protocol is CHAP. We can see a magic number and we can see MRRU. So we are negotiating the size of packets across the link. Let's have a look at that in more detail using a Wireshark capture, but notice phase is virtualized. And here we have a multi-link PPP saying that an interface was added to the bundle. So the fact that we've got a multi-link interface here, rather than just a physical interface, shows us that the interface was added to a multi-link bundle called R4. So the interface that we're shutting down here is serial 2 slash 0. So let's capture on this link using PPP. So we can see some LCP and ERGRP and CDP messages. We're getting malformed advertisements here because fragments are being sent across the link rather than full packets. Packets will be fragmented across both those links. So I'll shut the link on router four and then no shut it. And in Wireshark, we should see some negotiation taking place. Now I'm actually capturing on serial two slash one. So let's no shut this interface and go on to interface serial two slash one and shut that down. And then no shut that link. And this is what we're looking for. So in the output, we can see a configuration request. Notice options here include magic number, chap authentication, and multi-link. So we've got multi-link PPP negotiation taking place. Multi-link PPP, we've got an acknowledgement of that. So chap using MD5, multi-link PPP. Here are our chap challenges. So router one challenge. Here's the responses. So hashing taking place. We have successful messages. And then we have our EIGRP hello messages. But notice the difference. We've got PPP, then PPP multilink. This is a fragment. Then we have PPP specifying that the internet protocol is IP version 4. And then we've got IP version 4. And then EIGRP. So notice the encapsulation. Point to point protocol, PPP multilink, point to point protocol, IP version 4. EIGRP. We've got some hello messages in PPP, but notice every time EIGRP sends a message, we've got PPP multilink, point to point protocol, IP version 4, and EIGRP. So PPP multilink is being used here rather than PPP. And notice we'll see things such as PPP Van Jacobson uncompressed. Van Jacobson allows you to compress data but we are not using that here. We're not compressing the data. The data center across here is uncompressed TCP data. So we've successfully configured this topology with multilink PPP using CHAP. And we've verified that using debugs, show commands, and Wireshark. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it, and please subscribe to my YouTube channel.